So today I want to make a traditional shirt. Uh, ambazo tunaziita shirt za kitenge but mostly you can mix with other plain fabric and the measurements that I'm going to use today I have got shoulders of 19 I have got chest of 43 and the length of the shirt will be 36 and then there is the neck which is 17 inches we have got the sleeve which is 25 inches and the arm circumference which is 16 inches I hope you get uh, those measurements right so this is the fabric that I am working on uh, and I hope you can remember that our chest is 43 inches. So what I'm going to do, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, I will divide 43, 43 inches. That is 43, I hope you can see that. 43 divided by 4. Unashika mara mbili hivi. Then from there you bring this end to here. And now you get the you can you can see I have got ten and uh, ten and three quarter. Uh, ten and three quarter. You can round off that to be eleven. Then I, then I will add two inches. Ambazo ni sewing allowance. Shati nataka unaacha na fasi kubwa. It will be thirteen. So I'm going to measure my thirteen now. The first thing that we are going to do. Uh, ni our guideline here about dio itatuongoza. So from this. From this line here, just measure 13 inches. Sitai uh, kustumia self edge, so... I will measure 13 here now. So that is our Latin. Uh, so this is now the, it is on folder. From this guideline here, I will measure the length of the shirt, which is 36 from our, it's 36, uh, 36. I will add only one inch. You in the front part, in are two, one inch so that will be 37 i'll take 37 i measure 37 here and then i measure 37 here So I now have my front part. This is my front part now. And so I will use this part now to cut a, yeah, back. So I will just lay my front part here. sana. Utaongeza three inches hapa. Kwa sababu, this measurement from the back part, dio itakuwa, ita, itabeba ile allowance inakuwa kwa mabega. You, we know men has got broad shoulders than the ladies. And so the back part is the one which is going to carry the allowance for the, for the shoulders. So from this front panel, we are going to add three inches. So we add three inches here. 
three inches. I draw a line. And then I cut. So I now have the back panel and I have the front panel. You can see uh, the back panel has got three inches excess more than the front panel. And uh, I was just creating a center with my L. So the next thing that I am going to do, ile jambo ingine ambayo nitafanya, you can see this is the uh, this is the shoulder side. Hapa kwa shoulders I will measure 2 inches here. I would do kama the standard for I measure 2 inches there. You can see I have got both panels here. I uh, upande huu wa mabega ndio nime nime reduce na 2 inches. You know very well for ladies we reduce with 1 inch but for men we normally redo it with 2 inches. So I'm going to draw a straight line from this tip here to the 2 inches here. We are not going to do it like the way we do it for the ladies. I'm sorry I do not have my ruler for today but you will bear with me. So nimechora uh, and I'm going to cut out the two inches. And now when I cut the 2 inches, remember this side ilikuwa na 3 inches excess. So what I'm going to do, because now nimesha kata the shoulder, kata the 2 inches I showed us, I'm going now, nikinakuja hapa, ninazitosha nisha hapa. Yeah. Zinatosha na hapo. Na ile length inabaki hapa, inakuja sasa hapa juu kwa mabega. Vire nikuwa nimekuambia ya kwamba, the three inches that we added there at the bottom were for the shoulders. So what we are going to do, you are going to overlap it. On a half inch kwa hii ya jum. For the front part, on a mark half inch. Mark half inch. Mark half inch. Mark half inch then you draw a line ukisha achara hiyo line ya half inch you bring this in a overlap kwa that half inch After measuring the half inch here, so you can see I have ironed the overlap which is here. I know you come and place it here on this one. Come on. on. Tabaki na sharp corner here. 
Then from this end here, we are now going to measure the shoulders. Uh, I've got shoulders of 19, and so we are going to divide 19 by 2. Nineteen divided by two is nine and a half. We are going to measure nine and a half from this corner here. Measure nine and a half. Tip of the shoulder here, we measure another nine and a half. And from this other corner here, we measure another nine and a half, we join them together, And from here now, I measure nine and a half. To here is nine and a half, which is half of the shoulder. From here to here is nine and a half, another half of the shoulder. From here to here, nine and a half, which is half of the shoulder. So get that into consideration. Remember that. Remember that. So I now draw a line. And from this line now, I'm going to shape the armhole. When you are shaping the armhole, get a half inch here. Half of nine and a half is four and three quarter. From there you enter with half inch. Then you shape the armhole. Then now we are going to shape our neck. Uh, we have got the neck uh, circumference, which is 17. You can see the end here. The neck circumference is 17. Uh, so what we are going to do, we are going to take from this end to the shoulder tip, we are going to take uh, two and a half inches and then from this tip uh, down we go three inches the neckline it's not yet so again whether it is a uh, turning with the neckline I think it's okay now. It is eight and a half. So I 
and now we have the front and we have the back panels now for the sleeves uh we just have, have to fold uh, the fabric once uh, then we fold it twice because we want to have two sleeves the circumference of our sleeve is 16 so i will take eight and a half because of the sewing allowance so that is eight and a half I first draw the guideline here. I have drawn the guideline here. From the guideline, I measure five inches. So now I'm five inches the cup. Another five inches here. I join together. Sure, it is eight and a half here because it is eight. Sixteen divided by two is eight, and I have added another half inch for the sewing allowance, so that will be eight and a half. And now from this end here, I'll curve the the arm sky. The length of the arm is 25. Uh, I'll add 2 inches for the hem. That will come 27. So, 27. I measure 27. Then I join. At the bottom, I'll measure uh, six inches. That is for the calf. And now from there, I will I will join with this line here. And then I cut. So I have now my sleeves, I have my front and back panel, and uh, that is it for today. Thank you for watching, and may God bless you.